Hi, this is Jeffrey Smith from SEO Design Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to install third-party scripts on a page using the HTML option of the global and page level settings, or from the header or closing body tag using the local page level settings. We're also going to cover another option which involves either using short codes or custom widgets to achieve the same desired effect. Now, during the course of building any website, there are times where you want to install a little code snippet, advertising scripts, conversion tracking code, CSS, or analytics. And today, we're going to cover three different ways you can use the SEO Design Framework to do this. First, let's cover the global option. The global settings option is ideal if you want the code to affect all pages simultaneously. However, if you only want the code snippet to affect one page, then we can use the page level settings. But first things first, let's walk through the global option. To start, copy the code you want to insert. Next, proceed to the SEO Design, Header, or Footer section, respectively, and then proceed to the additional HTML chevron. Next, simply paste the code snippet here, then click Save Changes. After that, you can refresh any page, and the change is now included in the header or footer area, depending upon which one that you use to add the code snippet. Next, adding scripts at the page level. Say for example I wanted to put tracking code for a goal or conversion on a specific landing page. Then I would simply go to that page, scroll beneath the page or post at the page level settings, and then paste my code or script into the appropriate header or footer HTML section. Save my changes, and that's it. But it can also be used for things such as inline HTML, CSS, or scripts in the same way. Now, moving along to the third way to accomplish this, we're going to use the shortcode generator to add our scripts to a shortcode. So here's how the shortcode generator works. The way that you access it is on the main or global settings. You go to the shortcodes tab. You'll notice that you have plus signs, so you can add additional areas. Once you do, you can simply paste in your script and give it a name. In this case, it's an Aweber contact form. After that, I click Save Changes. Now you'll see that the SDF shortcode has the name that I've placed over here. Once I grab the shortcode, I can then use it in content areas, widget areas, or in the global or local page level settings. And before we wrap it up, I'd like to show you one last way that you can actually add third-party scripts to the SEO Design Framework. So, grab a script. In this case, I'm going to use an Aweber contact form. After that, proceed to the widgets area. Under custom widgets, give the widget a name and click Save Changes. After that, open up your widget area. Paste the third-party code or short code that you would like into the widget area. And now proceed to the page level where you can then use the SDF Builder, add your widget area, and render your short code or third-party script.